I protectively, as an actor, I try to avoid getting attached to a script or a job in the audition process, like before I've before I know I'm doing it. But with this, I I really became invested and attached to it immediately, really quickly. Um, the team about it excited me. The script was phenomenal, and I it was just a sensation of like I want to be part of this. I really really need to be part of this. What I really like, um, what I love, is that Jay and Charles do not um, make this story from a position of authority. They make the story from a position of exploration. And, um, and Charlize is really like the third leg of the tripod creatively. She's on set all the time. The two of them will, the three, it becomes the three of them, will constantly be talking about like the writing and the structure. And it's, communication about it is very open among like crew and cast. So often we'll have discussions about like the dialogue as we're preparing to film scene and like Charles will be there and say, now what do you think about this to Jay? And then Jay will say to Charlize like, okay, well here's what I think, what do you think? And then they'll have it with the actors they're preparing with. It's very, it's very communicative, it's very open. There is no sense of, well, I know what I'm doing and no one else is invited. Hey Lisa here, now goofs or mistakes are common in the making of all movies and according to the Movie Mistakes website, the movies with the most goofs are Apocalypse Now with 390, Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban has 296, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets has 289, Superman 4 The Quest for Peace has 267 and The Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring has 262. Mm. Now do you like my t-shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.